Lovelies, we have woken up in the beautiful and sunny Nice in the south of France. We are going to be kind of touring around the French Riviera a little bit. We're not staying just in Nice because there are so many beautiful areas to explore. Today we are going to Aes Village. We are doing this trip very much on a budget. For those of you who don't know, me and Emily do live in Paris. So we took the train down to Nice yesterday and it was a very easy journey, about five hours direct. And then we just walked to our Airbnb. I'm going to make us some sandwiches, some little packed lunch to take with us because like I said, this is a budget trip. So I got this little lunch box from Amazon. I'm going to put our sandwiches in there with an ice pack to keep them cool for the day. We made it to Ez. The bus was not too bad because we were really lucky and we got seats. We were like the first people to get on. But it was packed. But it was really busy. Did they? Yeah. Oh it wow. Anyway, yeah, it's really beautiful. We're going to show you around. There's a little mini village. How cute. I love these bags are so cute. Yeah, I love this little lace. Isn't that pretty? But as soon as you put something in it, it wouldn't be pretty anymore. Yeah, and they've also got a smaller one. I actually want a mirror like this for my bathroom. We don't know where we're going, we're just following everyone else. So it is way too hot in Ez. What happened in Ez? We got so hot we were drenched in sweat. It's kind of like not feeling the sightseeing. No, it was just way too hot for that. So we got in a cab because there was no buses. And the lovely Uber driver has taken us to this gorgeous little beach. So we're going to go swimming. So we are back at our little apartment. I just wanted to add a little tip about taking buses in Nice. We got on a bus this morning and we tried to buy single tickets and he was like, oh, you can't buy the tickets on the bus. You have to buy the card at like a tram station and then you can reload that at like the tram stations or also on your phone like there's an app and you can reload it and it looks like this and it's something crazy like two euro so it's very similar to the navigo easy if you've been to paris and, and use that to get around same exact system just a different card look how cute it is it's pink but yeah don't get on the bus and try and pay for a ticket there because you can't you're gonna have a chill evening we sleepy girls we're sleepy So we have arrived in Monton, or Menton if you're reading it with an English accent, and everything is so pretty. You can really see the Italian influence because this is the last sort of part of France before you reach the Italian border, which is really cool. Um, it definitely feels more Italian. Um, we're just heading into the main part of the, the city. I'm really excited. So Emily finally got a beach towel. It's really cute, it has lemon bonnet. Yeah, apparently Monton's thing is like lemons. That lemons are on everything. So she got this cute little like lemon print towel. And we got an umbrella or uh, how do you say? Parasol. No, parasol. <laughs> parasol. Parasol because um, it's really hot. And like even on the beach with no shade, it's literally impossible. So Emily got this stuff. Italian, it's called crema di caffè. 
it's I don't even know how to describe it. It's like the foam that you get on a cappuccino, but cold. It's sweet. It's so good. And it's I so good. got a I suppose it's a cornetto in Italian, but we called it a croissant creme. It looks amazing. Mmm. It's like filled with cream on the inside. Again today, so we are on the beach in Monton. We have front row seats to the sea. Let me show you. We have our little parasol that we bought, which is an absolute godsend because in the sun it is way too hot. And it's literally, I think it's about 10 a.m. The beach is nice and quiet, and the sea is perfect. So I went to the shops. I bought some cannelloni, pistachio cannellonis, because we're so close to Italy, we have to try them. Mm -hmm. And these very peculiar looking crisps. They just sound like they would be really yummy. Mm -hmm. And Powerade, because Emily's mum says when it's really hot and you get dehydrated that you should drink Powerade. Well, she says to drink electrolytes, and I think that they have electrolytes in Powerade. I don't actually think I've ever had a cannelloni before. Definitely not a pistachio one. Um, I appreciate that these are from the supermarket, so probably not the best ones in the world. But I'm going to try one anyway. Wow. Good. Mm. We had such a good day at the beach. I've just washed my hair and had a shower. I'm loving this apartment we're staying in, and I'll show you around. But the only thing about it is the bed is a sofa bed. It, it's so uncomfortable <laughs> and the road that our apartment is on is pretty noisy as well i just thought i would show you around the apartment so this is the entry and then you come in and it's a little studio so you have like the kitchen area here and it really has everything you need we have a little coffee machine and a microwave that also functions as an oven stove fridge all of that fun stuff and then this is kind of what you see when you walk in. So you can see Emily's on the sofa, which turns into a bed. Emily not Doesn't come included with the apartment. And then you have this table, which with all due respect, I think is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is quite a good table in the way that it is a coffee table. And then there's like a thing you pull out on the side and it lifts it up. So we've just eaten dinner on there and you have a little TV and you have wardrobe. And then you have the bathroom, which is is very big for a bathroom i thought um in the pictures it looks really small but it's not you've got a shower obviously then you have the balcony as well which again this wasn't even there was no photos of the balcony on the listing of this place open up the door and we've got pretty nice view um and it's quite a spacious balcony at the moment we've got our beach towels and bikinis drying out here and like i mentioned earlier it's quite a noisy road, it's quite a busy road, but if you come over here, you can see we've got a beautiful view of this pretty, like, building, but then over here, we've actually got a little bit of a sea view. You can see in the distance that is the sea. Good morning, we woke up to the most beautiful Sunrise. Today we're going to Antib. So 
So we've stopped for a little coffee and espresso and a croissant because you can't go wrong. We're at this cute little place called Le Goûter, which is like a play on words because Goûter means like snack in French. So it's very cute. We made it to the beach in Antibes. We are at Plage de la Gravette, I think is how you say it. And it's a sandy beach. We've only been to like rocky beaches. Yeah, so my feet are really happy. We have this SPF 50 stick from Le Rosé and I never normally get to apply it like this because I'm always wearing makeup. But today I've gone makeup free so I can just lather it on. I'm gonna be so shiny. <laughs> but it smells amazing. I normally use this as a lip balm like a huge lip balm because it has SPF 50 and the skin on your lips is very delicate so if you burn it, you will regret it. The beach was very busy so we have come back to the little town and it's just so so beyond stunning in the sunshine and emily is a little bit too hot aren't you yeah. it's quite warm but it's so gorgeous i see i definitely see the hype around this place we found an english bookshop so after much consideration i ended up going after you which is the sequel to me before you. This is an ice cream place. Did you want ice cream? Mm. Got ice cream. <laughs> I have tiramisu and prali. We just got. Um, yeah, that's what she calls them. I call them. I call them slushies. Hello. It's honestly been a few days since I last vlogged because. It's been so hot here that we've just kind of been sat on the beach for two days um, and I didn't think that would be too interesting to vlog but I'm back today and we're gonna go and see Nice, the old town because despite the fact that we've been here all week we actually haven't explored Nice um, in its entirety. managed to come to Nice on the day when they have a little brocante, which is an antique market. Been reading and I have been napping I think every single day we've been here I've had a nap right yeah yeah feeling good feeling refreshed we're gonna have a glass of wine on the balcony and then we're gonna head um, to promenade des anglais for one last time and we're going to just sit on the beach and chill I'm above. Every day, what seems. 